Hey guys, how many of you have ever thought about trying to create a unique date night or family night at the drive-in theater, but weren't quite sure how to pull it off? Well, if that's the case, you're gonna wanna stick around because that's exactly what we're gonna cover next on this week's bonus session of Manly Moments. Well, I'm here today with my daughter, Sadie, at the Auburn Garrett Drive-In on State Road 8 in Garrett, Indiana. This place opened on May 16, 1951, during the early years of the drive-in theater boom, and has been showing movies every summer ever since. But if I'm honest, I've only been to the drive-in theater like once in my lifetime, and so I had to learn things the hard way. And I thought it might be beneficial to share with you some of the things I've learned so you can learn from my mistakes. That's why I put together this video with the top 10 tips for a successful night at the drive-in. Take notes, because here we go. Number one, arrive early. If you want to get a good spot, you can't show up five minutes before the show starts and expect to get a good spot. Serious drive-in fans arrive one to two hours prior, especially on summer weekends. Gee, think we came early enough? We wanted to beat the crowd. It's three in the afternoon. At least we got a good spot. <sighs> Number two, bring games. If you arrive early, a football, a frisbee, or a deck of cards goes a long way and can be a tremendous asset, especially if you bring the kids. If not, you can mingle with the neighbors or even read a book. I wonder if it's gonna be better than the book. <clears throat> Probably not. Number three, dress comfortably. Drive-in double features can last till two or three in the morning, so you'll wanna be comfortable. If you bring the kids, it's a lot easier to transfer them from the vehicle to their beds if they're already in their pajamas. Adults too, for that matter. Number four, pack a snack. Even though most drive-in theaters have concession stands, it's still nice to bring your own popcorn, candy, or chips. It'll save you a little time and money, and it's particularly handy if you're on a special diet. Would you like to try some of my sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, non-GMO kale chips? Um, I'll pass. Number five, bring lawn chairs. Sometimes the best way to ensure you have a good view is simply to bring a lawn chair and sit outside. Or if you drive a van or a truck, you can park backwards and go for the open view with blankets, pillows, mattresses, or even a love seat. Just make sure your chairs are in good shape. Well, this is comfortable. Sure you don't want to trade for like just a little no. bit? Number six, bring a jacket or a blanket. Depending on where you live and what time of year it is, it's always wise to pack for chilly weather once the sun goes down. It's no fun watching a movie if you're cold. Man, it is freezing out here tonight. <laughs> I have an extra sweatshirt if you want it. Sure. How's it fit? A little tight, but I like the design. Number seven, bring insect repellent. The only thing worse than being cold is getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. You want to enjoy the movie, not fight bugs all night. Dad, hold still. <laughs> Got it. Number eight. Bring a radio with backup batteries. While you can typically use an FM radio frequency in the car to pick up sound for the movie, you run the risk of using up your car battery. Instead, bring a portable radio with fresh batteries. That way, if the movie stinks, you can always listen to the ball game. Hey, turn that radio off. David, just take it away from Under four left, the barn is alive again. 52, 52. Number nine, bring jumper cables. Even if you use a portable radio, sometimes the constant use of the interior lights can wear down the car battery. Trust me, it's no fun being the last one in the lot at 2 a.m. trying to figure out what to do. I knew I should have brought the jumper cables. You think mom's still awake? No. And number 10, consider going in the spring or in August. The sun sets earlier in May and August than it does during the heart of the summer, which means the movie will start sooner so you can actually stay awake for both shows. In Indiana, it doesn't even begin to get dark until 9.30 or 10 in June. I don't know what they do in Alaska this time of year. So there you have it, the top 10 tips for a successful night at the drive-in.
We've got one more thing to cover. Come on. We still have to pick a winner from last week's contest. Everybody who reposted or shared that video got their name in the lucky man camp mug. And now it's time to pick a winner, Sadie. I'll let you do the honors. Drum roll, please. And that lucky winner is, oh boy, Mary Wybrew. Congratulations, Mary. You just won yourself a free detail job from Jay Chapman, the owner of Faithfully Fitted Automobile Detail. For the rest of you, don't despair. It seems like we're always giving away free stuff on Manly Moments, but you gotta stay tuned. So the best way to do that is to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. And we will see you next time for another installment of Manly Moments.